one called Dudes. I'm at the end of Yarmouth Pier. The ferry to Lewington's in the distance. And I'm about to undertake another walk. From Martin Simon's Walk the White book, this one is the Hampstead and Tree Graveyard. It's supposed to start the other way round, over there towards the Hampstead area. But I'm starting here in Yarmouth because, you know, I thought it'd be a bit more interesting. And his walk doesn't include the pier, so I've decided to start here because it's pretty nice, right? Even though it costs 50p to walk up, I think it's worth it. All right, this is 7.2 miles. Should take me about three hours, but I'm going to stop off and do some watercolours as well, so it'll be a bit longer. That's about it. Good luck, everyone, especially me. Look at these. These are pretty unusual. I quite like them. A cottage back there was called Eremew, and that was the ancient name for Yarmouth from Athelred the Unready or whatever back in the 9th century. And um, it meant estuary. Yes, already very good, interesting bits on this walk. I did the coastal path about two and a half years ago, three years ago maybe, I walked in on this part of the road here and I was so exhausted as it was my second day and I'd done 19 miles. I remember my parents overtaking me in their car. It was my birthday and they were going to take me out for a dinner in Yarmouth. I could barely walk, I had about a mile to go. I'd also just been overtaken by a 75 year old lady. I'm slightly annoyed called Dudes, I didn't visit Yarmouth Church because inside there is a statue of an admiral called Sir Robert Holmes. Or is it a statue of him? Well, not entirely because he seized an unfinished uh, sculpture of Louis XIV in a raid on the French and he forced the sculpture to do the head, so it was him. Pretty cool, he's changed the faces so it looks like you. And that also reminds me of a story that one of my brother's friends reminded me of. When we were young, he was playing with my He-Man toy called Many Faces. And according to him, I said to him when he was playing with it, don't break that or I'll rearrange your face. Pretty good bullying. Oh, look at this. This is the tree graveyard. And according to Martin Simon, you can find ancient fossils from prehistoric times of fish and turtles on this beach. The question of the day called dudes is, what were your favorite toys when you were small? Please write them down below. I'd be very interested to read them. Nice one. alongside Boldner Forest and there's evidence of Mesolithic man having a summer camp here because they found wood that had been worked dating back to 6430 BC. The main path is quite boggy in places but I've been going off on subsidiary paths, which miss out a lot of the mud. But if you're doing this walk in winter, you probably will need to wear adequate footwear. Well, that looks pretty cool. A Yarmouth Sea Songs Festival. Hmm. Maybe I should compose my very own sea shanty. <coughs> Please don't. Oh. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?
after a short bit on Hampstead foreshore, we cut him back inside. All these paths along all the marshes reminds me of a book I just read, which incidentally is by my brother, who's a kid's author. And uh, he's in a series called Podkin, which is about all these rabbits. Sort of cross between Warship Down and Lord of the Rings. The last one I read was called Ookie and the Swamp Spirit, set in this sort of marshes. And I imagined it a lot like this area of uh, uh, Hampstead and Newtown. This would have been the perfect place to sit and do a drawing. But they say no picnics and it's private. Thanks a lot. And there is why I did the drawing last time. Hmm, I've spotted a clearing. I may well have my lunch sneakily sitting down here. Lunch called dudes is sausage, mustard and ketchup baps. Sticky barbecue ribs, crisps, a bit like what's it? A mintero and maybe some strawberry laces, probably not. I mean, this is gonna be a horrific combination. I was enjoying my lunch until, cool dudes, I was a victim of the most incredible bit of space invading I've ever seen. There's literally no one around here at all. And three people came into the field with a dog talking loudly saying, I bet you never thought you'd be interrupted here. And I thought, well, no. And the bloke just stood directly in front of me. I even got some footage of it with his dog but before then, the dog ran up to me, tried to eat my, eat my sandwich, and the bloke said, I wonder how long that would take. I put him on a lead then, and he left a tree out of slobber all up my arm, tried to eat the camera, slobbered on the sandwich so I couldn't eat it, and then um, eventually got put on the lead. Unbelievable. And another news, barbecue what's it ripoffs followed by mint arrows is not a good combination. Sadly, I haven't given myself enough time to do a watercolour. I was going to do it when I sat down there. But anyway, I'm glad I didn't because the dog would have ruined it. I might pick a shot from the walk and try and paint it when I get home. Yes, I'll do that. much at the end of the walk by the horse and groom pub in retrospect martin simon was correct and that you probably should start the walk here and end in yarmouth because i think there's more to do there so uh, well done martin simon that's two good walks in a row who'd have thought apart from that dog stupid dog anyway um if you've enjoyed the walk and you want to help me make more videos please consider joining the club by the website and you get this membership pack or even better, you can join on YouTube and you get access to videos that no one else can see and emojis as well, which is pretty incredible. Thank you to everyone who's joined, especially those who've joined on the website and on YouTube. Nice one. All right, that's about it. The prize draw for all the moments is coming up next. And one thing left to say, three, two, one. Stay cool. All right, see you later. one called dudes yeah i'm still annoyed about that man and his dog a couple of weeks later 
so annoyed that I decided to do a watercolour of him and his annoying dog. Here it is. A pretty good likeness, I think. And now I'll be able to feel angry about him forever. Anyway, time for the prize draw. This week's prize is this. Yes, I need to get some more strawberry laces. Currently, there are 792 members on the website and 177 members on YouTube, meaning there are 969 draw entries. Random number generator. Generate me a number. Generate. 714. Congratulations, called you 714, a.k.a. Edward. This cool stuff is on its way to you. That's about it. Thanks for watching. And remember, stay cool.